right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we could have your attention, please. Uh, feel free to grab seats, feel free to stand around and mingle. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna get the program started right now. Uh, my name is Billy Costa, the Billy and Lisa Morning Show on KISS 108. Great to see everybody. Signature Healthcare, how you doing tonight? Brockton Hospital, how you doing tonight? Um, I've got, uh, I have a bit of a history. Uh, it was a few months ago, I think. Uh, I dropped by uh, Brockton Hospital and I did a donut drop. It was a Duncan drop and I got to meet a lot of you folks. And I gotta tell you, I was so thrilled when I got the call and said, could you come out here to Lombardo's and do the event? And I walked in to Lombardo's tonight and instantly I felt the energy in this building. This is like a giant block party and everybody is having a great time. And you know what, folks, you deserve it. It's been a challenging year. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's so great. The feeling in this room is so great tonight, and I'm not just saying that. I felt it the minute I walked in the door and made my way up to the staircase. Uh, can I get a round of applause for the staff here at Lombardo's? The legend, Lombardo's. I mean, I'm guessing the strong majority of us here tonight have been to Lombardo's multiple times for multiple events. I've had friends get married in this very room. Uh, I started out my career as a nightclub disc jockey in the nightclub here at Lombardo's. At the time, it might have been Chateau de Ville, uh, and they had three or four Chateau de Villes around New England, and Lombardo's is still strong and doing a fabulous job, so give them a round of applause tonight for helping out. <laughs> Talking about the Ring of Champions tonight, that's why we're here. What a challenging year, I'm telling you folks. Um, it's been tough. I've heard so many stories tonight how everybody had to pivot uh, because of the fire. And luckily, it's such a community and a giving community that everybody has kind of chipped in and it seems like somehow it's working out. And trust me when I tell you, eventually, it's gonna be not only at 100%, but it's gonna be better than it ever was, right? Now, how are we gonna accomplish that? We're gonna accomplish that by raising a lot of money tonight okay for fire recovery and so many other programs and that is one of my primary jobs here tonight because at some point in a few minutes uh, i'm basically and i'm not apologizing i'm basically going to tip you all upside down and i'm going to take your money all right and when i take your money i want you to give it up with a smile all right knowing that that money is going to a good place and I noticed since I got here, there are long lines at the bar, and that is good news, But I, because I always find a couple more sips of the drink, we get even more generous than we were when we walked into the building. And at some point, we get so generous, we're spending money we never even had. And that is live auction magic. And that's gonna happen in this room tonight because we have to raise the money. Uh, before we get to all the fundraising, this is a funny story. Several people before I came here tonight called me, texted me, Valerie, you're one of them, and said, listen, do you want some help on the pronunciation of the name of the gentleman you're gonna be bringing up on stage? And I said, no, I got this. So I hope and pray I don't screw this up, okay? So let's bring up the chairman of the Signature Healthcare Board of Trustees my friend and yours, here it comes, you ready? David Wolojian, here he is, right here. David! How'd I do, okay? Thank you very much, Billy. And thank you for uh, coming and joining us this evening and helping us with this event. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an incredible year. Historically, we give the Ring of Champions Award to one individual. Well, very frankly, we really haven't changed that. Because on the day of the fire, class, shh. Quiet down now. David Melogian. <laughs> on the day of the fire, 
you all acted as one. You were one team, one group of individuals that did some incredible work. The hallways were filling with smoke. The elevators were shut down. You had five floors of personnel and patients, and everybody had to get out of the building. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, thank you. You've done an exceptional job. I will ask my Board of Trustees this evening, because you usually don't see us, to go around and mingle with some of you and say hello. It's okay. Say hello to us. We're not the Hatfields and you're not the McCoys. It's okay to talk to us. We like this institution, we want to help this institution, and day by day, we do everything we can to make sure that this great organization opens up in 2024. So next year we have one goal, to open the hospital in early 2024 and then carry on our mission. And that is to create the best damn healthcare organization for the city of Brockton, for the surrounding towns and the region. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are signature strong. At the bottom of every email we send out, every newsletter, every update on the fire, are the words signature strong. You define that, and we thank you. This evening they gave me a very, very easy job. In fact, they gave me one that even I can't screw up. I get to introduce to you somebody that you already know. And this is the individual who has led the recovery, leads the senior management team, and ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you my friend, the Chief Executive Officer and President of Signature Healthcare, Mr. Robert Bob Haffey. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. So we're going to have to really be quiet for me because I am self-spoken. Um, my wife and about 14 other people told me to keep this short, and so I will keep it short. But I, I want to say that this evening is all about the staff of Signature. Hopefully you feel that. Uh, the energy in the room is, is very, very amazing. And I, I just want to quickly tell you that um, early last year, pre-fire, we set out to try to recognize employees in a, in a different way. We put together an employee engagement committee, at least 30 staff members were there, generated some great ideas, and one of the first things we did that hasn't been done in a very long time was have a Christmas party. So we had 150 people turn out. Not bad, not great. Then we had the fire, and we wanted to recognize the staff again, but not because of any reason other than the bravery that David spoke to. So I was up on the floors as was all of management helping to move these patients and the nurses and other staff were incredibly brave. There was smoke, you couldn't breathe, you were coughing. Um, it, was, it was terrifying. And everyone, their focus was just on the patient to get them out of that place safely. And so we moved, I think it's 168 patients out of that hospital safely, not one injury, not one death, absolutely incredible. And that is because of the people in this room. So for the, for the people that are uh, temporarily disengaged, choosing my words carefully, um, I want to thank you. This evening again is about you, it's, it's because now you've helped us recover the hospital. There are four services that are open currently. We'll continue to open services as we can, but um, there's roughly $70 million worth of damage to the hospital. If you walk through the hospital, you wouldn't even see it, because remember it was an electrical fire, 
and all the damage is behind the walls. And that's why it's taking so long to get the hospital open. But I can tell you, everyone is working every day to get this place open as quickly as possible. I'll tell you some good things that we've done since the hospital is closed. We moved all of our ambulatory services off-site, um, all that we could move off-site. We've opened three urgent cares, three urgent cares, that are operating and busy. We opened a 70,000 square foot building that we recruited many compass docs who were seeing patients there, specialists, that's where one of our urgent cares are. And um, we completely renovated the emergency department. We uh, created an ambulatory surgery center. When the hospital reopens, there will be a redesigned patient-centered lobby so the lobby will be spectacular. Uh, the cafeteria will be renovated, and the list goes on and on, but when you come back to the hospital, there's parts of it, I'm not gonna say all of it, there's parts of it you won't recognize. But back to you. I wanna thank you personally for sticking with us, for helping us, working through the stress, working through the busyness of getting the services off-site, but also opening the what we're calling the limited services hospital. The, um, the full service hospital will be open, as Dave said, early next year, but uh, we are definitely coming back bigger and stronger. So uh, this evening's about you. We have a lot to celebrate, so let's get back to the celebration. I think uh, we're coming back up here for the live auction. Oh, one other thing, I'm sorry. So the, the, the Ring of Champions, probably the most important thing, I forgot, I'm sorry. The Ring of Champions is a medal that is displayed up here. And we are dedicating that medal to the staff of Signature Healthcare. Thank you. And as we renovate the new lobby, we're going to create a, a display. It'll be built into the wall with spotlights on it and a, um, a nice dedication to the staff that were uh, not only there, but anyone that was employed at Signature during the time of the fire. So everyone for years to come can see what you guys accomplished. So again, thank you, have a great evening. I hope you're having fun.
Hi, I'm Bob Haffey, CEO of Signature Healthcare, and this evening we are having our Ring of Champions, which is an annual event where we typically honor someone, and uh, it also acts as a fundraiser for us. This year, because of the fire and everything our staff has done to get us back online, we're dedicating the Ring of Champions to our staff. So it's very important for us to stay engaged with our staff, and tonight, is the best turnout we've ever had of any Ring of Champions. and So we're looking at at least 610 people are here this evening. So huge crowd. I'm proud they're here. I'm glad they're here. It's almost like a reunion for them for since the fire um, of February 7th. A lot of them haven't seen each other. So uh, I'm happy for them and um, we're happy to have them back in our family. Could you uh, tell us what this event means for you and how you would compare it to other Ring of Champion events you've been to? So this is actually my 20th year at the organization and I've been to numerous Ring of Champions dinners. I think this one is um, the most meaningful because it's meant to honor the employees who put hard work in every day for the organization. And how would you compare it to um, I think there's a lot more engagement, a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more fun. Um, so I think, you know, I think it's very well received. I think there's a lot more people that have come. So we've opened it up to the organization. Thank you. So this is the newly re-elected mayor of Brockton, Bob Sullivan. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. And uh, we're asking people... Uh, their experience with prior events, and I think you just got here, but if you could uh, give us your thoughts on what this will mean to the staff that we're doing this to honor the staff. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, I've gone to a lot of these in the, in the past years, you know, it's always a person um, chosen as the champion, but I think it's brilliant because it's it's a multitude of people that work at Signature Healthcare that are truly the champions. They champion us through COVID, they champion us during the 10 alarm fire, so I want to applaud you for your leadership and your team but it's everybody that works at the Brockton Hospital Signature that's being uh, recognized tonight, and it's 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 a, an award that's well deserved. And as the mayor, uh, I'm thrilled to be here. But more importantly, as a guy that was born at the Brockton Hospital, uh, it's a great hospital. We can't wait to get it back online 100. percent But again, I'm just really proud of of everybody being honored tonight. Right. I just want to comment that the mayor's been extremely supportive of me and reopening of the hospital, and uh, I think we've gained a really good friendship and um, we've accomplished a lot together and we'll continue to do that. So Absolutely. thanks for coming Thank tonight, you. Mayor. Thank you. Thanks Thank again. You. Appreciate it. Have yep. a good night. You too. Thank you. Happy holidays. Yep. You too. This is Dave Wallahosian. He is the chairman of the board for Signature Healthcare. And uh, Dave, what does this night mean for you, the Ring of Champions? Oh, this is a fantastic evening. It's a real statement of culture. Uh, we have just the greatest staff there is. Uh, the fire and, and all the things that have happened in 2023, uh, our employees have really stepped up and they really deserve an evening like this. So in talking to the staff, how do they feel about this evening? Oh, the, en the energy here this evening is absolutely tremendous. 
uh, all that have spoken to me have said this is just a great evening. They're very excited. And uh, with Billy Costas here, that certainly helps. Okay. okay. This gotcha. is May Foley. She was a staff nurse for how many years, May? Uh, 16. 16 years. Yep. And then now as a supervisor. Uh, more recently as a supervisor and now I'm deployed at St. Louis. Okay. And tell yep. me what you think of this event and what it means to you. Um, I think it's wonderful, and I think it uh, just brings a great sense of camaraderie, and it just shows how much everybody loves Signature Healthcare and wants to return. Excellent. Yeah. Have you been to other um, Ring of Champion events? Oh, this is my first this event. First. Yep. So you came to the right one. Yes. Yes. Yep. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> no, but we all. But I will say this much: everybody is very appreciative of this event, and I think it just lets us all know how much we all mean to Signature Healthcare and how much everybody wants us all to come back and be together at the hospital.